Hello everyone and welcome back to the psychology of drumming. I've been getting a lot of feedback, some of it good and some of it bad, but I'm going to keep plugging along. So with that, here comes lesson number three. You know everyone, lessons are what they are. Sometimes you get a lot out of them, and sometimes you don't get anything out of them. But either way, you're going to get something out of it. You know, the thing about lessons are that sometimes you just have to put the book down. The same goes with the psychology of drumming. Sometimes you just have to turn off the video and be the change. And if that doesn't work, then you come back to the video or back to the book. But in this case, I'm asking you to attack the lesson. Okay, that concludes lesson number three. You know, I just want to be clear that there is no shame in uh, rewinding the tape and going back to play it again if you feel like you've missed something, just to make sure it sinks in. So, thanks again for watching, and that concludes another episode of The Psychology of Drumming. <laughs>